Albanian Shkip Sip, or Gjuha Shkip Juha Sip is a language of the Indo-European family, in which it occupies an independent branch. It is an official language in Albania and Kosovo and has official minority status in Italy, Romania, Montenegro, Serbia, Macedonia and others. The language has an official status in Ulcinj, southern Montenegro. Albanian is also spoken by large Albanian communities elsewhere in Europe, the Americas and Australia. The two main dialects of Albanian are Gheg and Tosk. Gheg is primarily spoken in the north, while Tosk is spoken in the south. Standard Albanian is based on the Tosk dialect. The number of Albanian speakers in the Balkans is estimated to be approximately 5 million. Centuries old communities speaking Albanian dialects can be found scattered in Croatia, the Arbanasi, Greece, the Arvanites and some communities in Epirus, Western Macedonia and Western Thrace, Italy, the Arbareshe immigrants in Italy, as well as in Romania and Ukraine. There is also a large Albanian diaspora. Topic: <laughs> Geographic distribution. The language is spoken by approximately 7 million people primarily in Albania, Kosovo, Greece, Italy, Macedonia and Montenegro. However, due to the large Albanian diaspora, the total number of speakers is much higher than the native speakers in southern Europe. Europe The Albanian language is the official language of Albania and Kosovo. It is spoken by the entire Albanian population in both. Albanian is a recognized minority language in Croatia, Italy, Macedonia, Montenegro, Romania and in Serbia. Albanian is also spoken in the Thesprotia and Preveza regional units and in a few villages in Yanina and Florina regional units in Greece. Albanian is the third most spoken language in Italy. This is due to the mass Albanian immigration to Italy. Italy has a historical Albanian minority of about 500,000 which are scattered across southern Italy known as Arboreche. Approximately 1 million Albanians from Kosovo are dispersed throughout Germany, Switzerland and Austria. These are mainly refugees from Kosovo that migrated during the Kosovo War. In Switzerland, the Albanian language is the sixth most spoken language with 176,293 native speakers. Topic. Americas There are large numbers of Albanian speakers in the United States, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay and Canada. Some of the first ethnic Albanians to arrive in the United States were Arboreche. Arboreche have a strong sense of identity, and are unique in that they speak an archaic dialect of Tosk Albanian called Arboreche. In North America United States and Canada there are approximately 250,000 Albanian speakers. It is spoken in the eastern area of the United States in cities like New York City New Jersey, Boston, Philadelphia, Ohio, Connecticut and Detroit. Greater New Orleans has a large Arboresh community. Oftentimes, wherever there are Italians, there are a few Arboreche mixed with them. Arboreche Americans, therefore are often indistinguishable from Italian Americans due to being assimilated into the Italian American community. In Argentina there are nearly 40,000 Albanian speakers, mostly in Buenos Aires. <laughs> Asia and Oceania Approximately 1.3 million people of Albanian ancestry live in Turkey, and more than 500,000 recognizing their ancestry, language and culture. There are other estimates, however, that place the number of people in Turkey with Albanian ancestry and or background upward to 5 million. However, the vast majority of this population is assimilated and no longer possesses fluency in the Albanian language, though a vibrant Albanian community maintains its distinct identity in Istanbul to this day. In Egypt there are around 18,000 Albanians, mostly Tosk speakers. Many are descendants of the Janissary of Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Albanian who became Wali, and self-declared Khedive of Egypt and Sudan. In addition to the dynasty that he established, a large part of the former Egyptian and Sudanese aristocracy was of Albanian origin. In addition to the recent emigrants, there are older diasporic communities around the world. Albanian is also spoken by Albanian diaspora communities residing in Australia and New Zealand. 
Topic dialects The Albanian language has two distinct dialects, Tosk which is spoken in the south, and Gheg spoken in the north. Standard Albanian is based on the Tosk dialect. The Shkambin River is the rough dividing line between the two dialects. Gheg is divided into four sub dialects in northwest Gheg, northeast Gheg, central Gheg, and southern Gheg. It is primarily spoken in northern Albania and throughout Montenegro, Kosovo, and northwestern Macedonia. One fairly divergent dialect is the Upper Reka dialect, which is, however, classified as central Gheg. There is also a diaspora dialect in Croatia, the Arbanasi dialect. Tosk is divided into five sub-dialects, including Northern Tosk the most numerous in speakers, Labarisht, Kam, Arvanitika, and Arboresh. Tosk is spoken in Southern Albania, Southwestern Macedonia and Northern and Southern Greece. Cham Albanian is spoken in Northwestern Greece, while Arvanitika is spoken by the Arvanites in Southern Greece. In addition Arboresh is spoken by the Arboreshe people, descendants of 15th and 16th century migrants who settled in southeastern Italy, in small communities in the regions of Sicily and Calabria. Topic orthography The Albanian language has been written using many different alphabets since the earliest records from the 14th century. The history of Albanian language orthography is closely related to the cultural orientation and knowledge of certain foreign languages among Albanian writers. The earliest written Albanian records come from the Gheg area in makeshift spellings based on Italian or Greek. Originally, the Tosk dialect was written in the Greek alphabet and the Gheg dialect was written in the Latin script. Both dialects had also been written in the Ottoman Turkish version of the Arabic script, Cyrillic, and some local alphabets Elbasan, Vidkuki, Tari, Veso Bey, Jan Valara and others, see original Albanian alphabets. More specifically, the writers from northern Albania and under the influence of the Catholic Church used Latin letters, those in southern Albania and under the influence of the Greek Orthodox Church used Greek letters, while others throughout Albania and under the influence of Islam used Arabic letters. There were initial attempts to create an original Albanian alphabet during the 1750–1850 period. These attempts intensified after the League of Prizren and culminated with the Congress of Manistir held by Albanian intellectuals from 14 to the 22nd of November 1908 in Manistir, present-day Bitola, which decided on which alphabet to use and what the standardized spelling would be for standard Albanian. This is how the literary language remains. The alphabet is the Latin alphabet with the addition of the letters and 10 digraphs dh th xh gj nj ing ll rr zh and shish According to Robert Elsie the 100 years between 1750 and 1850 were an age of astounding orthographic diversity in Albania In this period the Albanian language was put to writing in at least 10 different alphabets most certainly a record for European languages the diverse forms in which this old Balkan language was recorded from the earliest documents to the beginning of the 20th century consist of adaptations of the Latin, Greek, Arabic, and Cyrillic alphabets and what is even more interesting a number of locally invented writing systems. Most of the latter alphabets have now been forgotten and are unknown, even to the Albanians themselves. Classification <laughs> 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 The Albanian language occupies an independent branch of the Indo-European language tree. In 1854, Albanian was demonstrated to be an Indo-European language by the philologist Franz Bopp. Albanian was formerly compared by a few Indo-European linguists with Germanic and Balto-Slavic, all of which share a number of isoglosses with Albanian. Other linguists linked the Albanian language with Latin, Greek and Armenian, while placing Germanic and Balto-Slavic in another branch of Indo-European. Old Albanian According to the central hypothesis of a project undertaken by the Austrian Science Fund, Old Albanian had a significant influence on the development of many languages in the Balkans. This little-known language is being researched using all available texts before a comparison with other Balkan languages is carried out. The outcome of this work will include the compilation of a lexicon providing an overview of all Old Albanian verbs. As project leader Dr. Schumacher explains, the research is already bearing fruit. So far, our work has shown that Old Albanian contained numerous modal levels that allowed the speaker to express a particular stance to what was being said. 
Compared to the existing knowledge and literature, these modal levels are actually more extensive and more nuanced than previously thought. We have also discovered a great many verbal forms that are now obsolete or have been lost through restructuring. Until now, these forms have barely even been recognized or, at best, have been classified incorrectly. These verbal forms are crucial to explaining the linguistic history of Albanian and its internal usage. However, they can also shed light on the reciprocal relationship between Albanian and its neighboring languages. The researchers are following various leads which suggest that Albanian played a key role in the Balkan Sprachbund. For example, it is likely that Albanian is the source of the suffixed definite article in Romanian, Bulgarian and Macedonian, as this has been a feature of Albanian since ancient times. History The first written mention of the Albanian language was on 14 July 1284 in Dubrovnik in modern Croatia when a crime witness named Matthew testified, I heard a voice shouting on the mountainside in the Albanian language. Latin, Adivia nam vosum, clamentum in monte in lingua albanesca. The first audio recording of Albanian was made by Norbert Jokel on April 4, 1914 in Vienna. During the five-century period of the Ottoman presence in Albania, the language was not officially recognized until 1909, when the Congress of Debra decided that Albanian schools would finally be allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Linguistic affinities Albanian is considered an isolate within the Indo-European language family, no other language has been conclusively linked to its branch. The only other languages that are the sole surviving member of a branch of Indo-European are Armenian and Greek. The Albanian language is part of the Indo-European language group and is considered to have evolved from one of the Paleo-Balkan languages of antiquity. Although it is still uncertain which particular Paleo-Balkan language represents the ancestor of Albanian, or where in southern Europe that population lived. In general there is insufficient evidence to connect Albanian with one of those languages, whether one of the Illyrian languages which historians mostly confirm, or Thracian and Dacian. Among these possibilities, Illyrian is typically held to be the most probable, though insufficient evidence still clouds the discussion, although Albanian shares lexical isoglosses with Greek, Germanic, and to a lesser extent Balto-Slavic, the vocabulary of Albanian is quite distinct. In 1995 Taylor, Ring and Warnow, using quantitative linguistic techniques, found that Albanian appears to comprise a subgroup with Germanic. However, they argued that this fact is hardly significant, as Albanian has lost much of its original vocabulary and morphology, and so this apparently close connection to Germanic rests on only a couple of lexical cognates, hardly any evidence at all. Early linguistic influences The earliest loanwords attested in Albanian come from Doric Greek, whereas the strongest influence came from Latin. According to Matthew C. Curtis, the loanwords do not necessarily indicate the geographical location of the ancestor of Albanian language. However, according to other linguists, the borrowed words can help to get an idea about the place of origin and the evolution of the Albanian language. According to another group of linguists, Albanian originates from an area located east of its present geographic spread due to the several common lexical items found between the Albanian and Romanian languages. The period during which Proto Albanian and Latin interacted was protracted, lasting from the 2nd century BC to the 5th century AD. Over this period, the lexical borrowings can be roughly divided into three layers, the second of which is the largest. The first and smallest occurred at the time of less significant interaction. The final period, probably preceding the Slavic or Germanic invasions, also has a notably smaller number of borrowings. Each layer is characterized by a different treatment of most vowels. The first layer follows the evolution of early Proto Albanian into Albanian, while later layers reflect vowel changes endemic to Late Latin and presumably Proto Romance. Other formative changes include the syncretism of several noun case endings, especially in the plural, as well as a large-scale palatalization. A brief period followed, between the 7th and the 9th centuries, that was marked by heavy borrowings from Southern Slavic, some of which predate the O-A shift common to the modern forms of this language group. 
Starting in the latter 9th century, there was a period characterized by protracted contact with the Proto Romanians, or Vlachs, though lexical borrowing seems to have been mostly one sided, from Albanian into Romanian. Such borrowing indicates that the Romanians migrated from an area where the majority was Slavic i.e. Middle Bulgarian to an area with a majority of Albanian speakers i.e. Dardania, where Vlachs are recorded in the 10th century. Their movement is presumably related to the expansion of the Bulgarian Empire into Albania around that time. <laughs> Latin influence Jernej Kopitar was the first to note Latin's influence on Albanian and claimed, "...the Latin loanwords in the Albanian language had the pronunciation of the time of Emperor Augustus." Kopitar gave examples such as Albanian kikar from Latin cicer, katet city, town from civitas, peshk fish from piscis, and shigjet arrow from sigita. The hard pronunciations of Latin C and G are retained as palatal and velar stops in the Albanian loanwords. Gustav Meyer and Wilhelm Meyer Lubke later corroborated this. Meyer noted the similarity between the Albanian verb shkapaj to speak clearly, enunciate and shkiptaj to pronounce, articulate and the Latin word excipio meaning to welcome. Therefore, he believed that the word shkiptar Albanian person was derived from shkapaj, which in turn was derived from the Latin word excipir. Johann Georg von Hahn, an Austrian linguist, had proposed the same hypothesis in 1854. Ekrem Kabej also noticed, among other things, the archaic Latin elements in Albanian. Latin o becomes Albanian a in the earliest loanwords, orum r gold, gaudium gaz joy, loris lar laurel. Latin, o, is retained in later loans, but is altered in a way similar to Greek, causa thing, kafshe thing, beast, brute, lad lavd. Latin, o, becomes Albanian, e, in the oldest Latin loans, pomis peme, fruit tree, hora ora, hour. An analogous mutation occurred from Proto Indo European to Albanian, pi asterisk nos became Albanian ne, we, pi asterisk octo plus suffix t became Albanian tet, eight, etc. Latin unstressed internal and initial syllables become lost in Albanian, cubitus cub elbow, medicus mjek physician, paludum swamp, vl padul pil forest. An analogous mutation occurred from Proto-Indo-European to Albanian. In contrast, in later Latin loanwords, the internal syllable is retained, paganus pagan, plaga plage wound, etc. Latin, tj, dj, kj, palatalized to Albanian, s, z, c, vidium ves, vice, worries, rationum rc, reason, radius rrezee, re, spoke, facies foc, face, cheek, socius shock, mate, comrade, shoq, husband, etc. In turn, Latin, s, was altered to, in Albanian, Herolambi Mihaescu demonstrated that, some 85 Latin words have survived in Albanian but not as inherited in any Romance language. A few examples include Late Latin Celsidri dial. Kulshider Caseder Hydra, Hibernus Veri Winter Pasture, Sarsenarius used for packing, loading Shelkerer Forked Peg, Grapnel, Forked Hanger, Selenum Nightshade, Lit. Sun Plant Shul R Sunny Place Out of the Wind, Sunbathed Area, Splenetikus Spurt Key Spleen, Trifurcus Turfurk Pitchfork, 151 Albanian words of Latin origin were not inherited in Romanian. A few examples include Latin amicus Albanian mic friend, animicus armic foe, enemy, rationum rc, benedicere beckage, bubulcus plowman, herdsman bulk, bujk peasant, calices qelq drinking glass, castellum keshtgel castle, centum quind hundred, gallus gjel rooster, einkshura gymtire limb, joint, medicus mjek doctor, redum rehete net, spirare dial. Shp -e -e to hope pres await, volantas voluntatis vulnet will volunteer. Some Albanian church terminology have phonetic features which demonstrate their very early borrowing from Latin. A few examples include Albanian beckage to bless from Benedicere, Angel Angel from Angelus, Kishe Church from Ecclesia, I Christare Christian from Christianus, Kryq Cross from Crux Crucis, obsolete Ltr Altar from Latin Altarium, Malkage to curse from Maladicere, Mesh Mass from Missa, Merg Monk from Monicus, Peshkep Bishop from Episcopus, and Ungel Gospel from Evangelium. Other authors have detected Latin loanwords in Albanian with an ancient sound pattern from the first century BC. 
BC, for example, Albanian Kingle e saddle girth, dwarf elder from Latin singula and Albanian evutur old, aged, former from vjet, but influenced by Latin veteries. The Romance languages inherited these words from Vulgar Latin, Singula became Romanian Chinga girdle, saddle girth, and Vulgar Latin Veteranus became Romanian Batran old. Albanian, Basque, and the surviving Celtic languages such as Breton and Welsh are the non-Romance languages today that have this sort of extensive Latin element dating from ancient Roman times, which has undergone the sound changes associated with the languages. Other languages in or near the former Roman area either came on the scene later Turkish, the Slavic languages, Arabic or borrowed little from Latin despite coexisting with it Greek, German, although German does have a few such ancient Latin loanwords fenster, window, kays, cheese, coln. Romanian scholars such as Vedescu and Mihaescu, using lexical analysis of the Albanian language, have concluded that Albanian was heavily influenced by an extinct Romance language that was distinct from both Romanian and Dalmatian. Because the Latin words common to only Romanian and Albanian are significantly less than those that are common to only Albanian and Western Romance, Mihaescu argues that the Albanian language evolved in a region with much greater contact to Western Romance regions than to Romanian-speaking regions, and located this region in present-day Albania, Kosovo and Western Macedonia, spanning east to Bitola and Pristina. Topic. Historical presence and location The place and the time where the Albanian language was formed is uncertain. American linguist Eric Hamp stated that during an unknown chronological period a pre-Albanian population termed as Albanoid by Hamp inhabited areas stretching from Poland to the southwestern Balkans. Further analysis has suggested that it was in a mountainous region rather than on a plain or seacoast. While the words for plants and animals characteristic of mountainous regions are entirely original, the names for fish and for agricultural activities, such as plowing, are borrowed from other languages. A deeper analysis of the vocabulary, however, shows that this could be a consequence of a prolonged Latin domination of the coastal and plain areas of the country, rather than evidence of the original environment where the Albanian language was formed. For example, the word for fish is borrowed from Latin, but not the word for gills, which is native. Indigenous are also the words for ship, raft, navigation, sea shelves, and a few names of fish kinds, but not the words for sail, row, and harbor, objects pertaining to navigation itself and a large part of sea fauna. This rather shows that Proto-Albanians were pushed away from coastal areas in early times, probably after the Latin conquest of the region, thus losing large parts or the majority of sea environment lexicon. A similar phenomenon could be observed with agricultural terms. While the words for arable land, corn, wheat, cereals, vineyard, yoke, harvesting, cattle breeding, etc. are native, the words for plowing, farm, and farmer, agricultural practices, and some harvesting tools are foreign. This, again, points to intense contact with other languages and people, rather than providing evidence of a possible or Heimat. The center of Albanian settlement remained the Mat River. In 1079, they were recorded farther south in the valley of the Shkambin River. The Shkambin, a seasonal stream that lies near the old Via Ignatia, is approximately the boundary of the primary dialect division for Albanian, Tosk and Gheg. The characteristics of Tosk and Gheg in the treatment of the native and loanwords from other languages are evidence that the dialectal split preceded the Slavic migration to the Balkans, which means that in that period the 5th to 6th centuries AD, Albanians were occupying nearly the same area around the Shkambin River, which straddled the Joricek line. References to the existence of Albanian as a distinct language survive from the 14th century, but they failed to cite specific words. The oldest surviving documents written in Albanian are the Formula e Pagezimit, baptismal formula, Unta Pagesant Premenit Tadit e Taburit e Tispertit Senet, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, recorded by Pal Angeli, Bishop of Duras in 1462 in the Gheg dialect, and some New Testament verses from that period. The oldest known Albanian printed book, Mashari, or Missal, was written in 1555 by Gjon Bazuku, a Roman Catholic cleric. In 1635 Frank Bardi wrote the first Latin Albanian dictionary. The first Albanian school is believed to have been opened by Franciscans in 1638 in Pidihane. 
One of the earliest dictionaries of Albanian language was written in 1693 which was an Italian language manuscript authored by Montenegrin sea captain Julie Bolovic Pratichai Shrivaneski and includes a multilingual dictionary of hundreds of the most often used words in everyday life in the Italian, Slavo-Illarico, Greek, Albanian and Turkish languages. Proto-IE features Although Albanian has been referred to as the weird sister for several words that do not correspond to IE cognates, it has retained many proto IE features, for example, the demonstrative pronoun asterisk asterisk co is ancestral to Albanian Kentucky, KJO and English he but not to English this or to Russian etot. Albanian is compared to other Indo European languages below, but note that Albanian has exhibited some notable instances of semantic drift, such as motor meaning sister rather than mother topic <inaudible> albanian pi phonological correspondences phonologically albanian is not so conservative like many ie stocks it has merged the two series of voiced stops e.g. both asterisk d and asterisk d became d in addition voiced stops tend to disappear in between vowels there is almost complete loss of final syllables and very widespread loss of other unstressed syllables e.g. mic, friend from lot, amicus. Pi asterisk o appears as a also as e if a high front vowel i follows, while asterisk e and asterisk a become o, and pi asterisk o appears as e. The palatals, velars, and labiovelars all remain distinct before front vowels, a conservation found otherwise in Luvian and related Anatolian languages. Thus pi asterisk k, asterisk k, and asterisk k become th, q, and s, respectively before back vowels asterisk k becomes th, while asterisk k and asterisk k merges k. A minority of scholars reconstruct a fourth laryngeal phoneme asterisk h4 which survives as is alb, h word initially Albanian herda, testicle but Hittite archi testicle, from pi asterisk hriyeh. Standard Albanian Since World War II, Standard Albanian used in Albania has been based on the Tosk dialect. Kosovo and other areas where Albanian is official adopted the Tosk standard in 1969. Elbasan-based standard Until the early 20th century, Albanian writing developed in three main literary traditions, Gheg, Tosk, and Arboreshe. Throughout this time, an intermediate subdialect spoken around Elbasan served as lingua franca among the Albanians, but was less prevalent in writing. The Congress of Manistir of Albanian Writers held in 1908 recommended the use of the Elbasan subdialect for literary purposes and as a basis of a unified national language. While technically classified as a southern gheg variety, the Elbasan speech is closer to Tosk in phonology and practically a hybrid between other gheg subdialects and literary Tosk. Between 1916 and 1918, the Albanian Literary Commission met in Shkoder under the leadership of Luigj Garakuki with the purpose of establishing a unified orthography for the language. The commission, made up of representatives from the north and south of Albania, reaffirmed the Elbasan subdialect as the basis of a national tongue. The rules published in 1917 defined spelling for the Elbasan variety for official purposes. The commission did not, however, discourage publications in one of the dialects, but rather laid a foundation for Gheg and Tosk to gradually converge into one. When the Congress of Lushnje met in the aftermath of World War I to form a new Albanian government, the 1917 decisions of the Literary Commission were upheld. The Elbasan subdialect remained in use for administrative purposes and many new writers embraced for creative writing. Gheg and Tosk continued to develop freely and interaction between the two dialects increased. Topic. Tosk standard At the end of World War II, however, the new communist regime radically imposed the use of the Tosk dialect in all facets of life in Albania, administration, education, and literature. Most communist leaders were Tosks from the south. Standardization was directed by the Albanian Institute of Linguistics and Literature of the Academy of Sciences of Albania. 
Two dictionaries were published in 1954, an Albanian language dictionary and a Russian Albanian dictionary. New orthography rules were eventually published in 1967 and 1973 Drechkrimi i Jewis Shkip orthography of the Albanian language. Until 1968, Kosovo and other Albanian-speaking areas in the former Yugoslavia followed the 1917 standard based on the Elbasan dialect. Albanian intellectuals in the former Yugoslavia consolidated the 1917 twice in the 1950s, culminating with a thorough codification of orthographic rules in 1964. The rules already provided for a balanced variety that accounted for both Gheg and Tosk dialects, but only lasted through 1968. Viewing divergences with Albania as a threat to their identity, Kosovars arbitrarily adopted the Tosk project that Tirana had published the year before. Although it was never intended to serve outside of Albania, the project became the Unified Literary Language in 1972, when approved by a rubber stamp orthography congress. Only about one in nine participants were from Kosovo. The Congress, held at Tirana, authorized the orthography rules that came out the following year, in 1973. More recent dictionaries from the Albanian government are Hollari Drechkrimer i Jewis Shkip Orthographic Dictionary of the Albanian Language and Dictionary of Today's Albanian Language Hollari Jewis Se Sotme Shkip Prior to World War II, dictionaries consulted by developers of the standard have included Lexicon Tis Alvanikis Glossis Albanian, Hollari i Jewis Shkip Kostandin Christoforidi, 1904, Hollari i Bashkomit 1908, and Hollari i Gazulit 1941. Topic. Calls for reform Since the fall of the communist regime, Albanian orthography has stirred heated debate among scholars, writers, and public opinion in Albania and Kosovo, with hardliners opposed to any changes in the orthography, moderates supporting varying degrees of reform, and radicals calling for a return to the Elbasan dialect. Criticism of standard Albanian has centered on the exclusion of the me plus infinitive and the gheg lexicon. Critics say that standard Albanian disenfranchises and stigmatizes GHEG speakers, affecting the quality of writing and impairing effective public communication. Supporters of the TOSC standard view the 1972 Congress as a milestone achievement in Albanian history and dismiss calls for reform as efforts to divide the nation or create two languages. Moderates, who are especially prevalent in Kosovo, generally stress the need for a unified Albanian language, but believe that the me plus infinitive and gheg words should be included. Proponents of the Elbasan dialect have been vocal, but have gathered little support in the public opinion. In general, those involved in the language debate come from diverse backgrounds and there is no significant correlation between one's political views, geographic origin, and position on standard Albanian. Many writers continue to write in the Elbasan dialect but other GHEG variants have found much more limited use in literature. Most publications adhere to a strict policy of not accepting submissions that are not written in Tosk. Some print media even translate direct speech, replacing the me plus infinitive with other verb forms and making other changes in grammar and word choice. Even authors who have published in the Elbasan dialect will frequently write in the Tosk standard. In 2013, a group of academics for Albania and Kosovo proposed minor changes to the orthography. Hardline academics boycotted the initiative, while other reformers have viewed it as well-intentioned but flawed and superficial. Media such as Rokum and Java have offered content that is almost exclusively in the Elbasan dialect. Meanwhile, author and linguist Agim Marina has promoted Shkip e per Bashket or Common Albanian, a reformed version of the Tosk standard that aims at reflecting the natural development of the language among all Albanians. Common Albanian incorporates the me plus infinitive, accommodates for gheg features, provides for dialect neutral rules that favor simplicity, predictability, and usage trends. Many modern writers have embraced Common Albanian to various extents, especially in less formal writing. Topic. Education Albanian is the medium of instruction in most Albanian schools. The literacy rate in Albania for the total population, age 9 or older, is about 99%. Elementary education is compulsory grades 1 to 9, but most students continue at least until a secondary education. 
Students must pass graduation exams at the end of the 9th grade and at the end of the 12th grade in order to continue their education. Phonology Standard Albanian has seven vowels and 29 consonants. Like English, Albanian has dental fricatives, theta, like the th in thin, and like the th in this, written as th and dh, which are rare cross linguistically. Gheg uses long and nasal vowels, which are absent in tosk, and the mid central vowel e is lost at the end of the word. The stress is fixed mainly on the last syllable. Ghegn feminine, compare English feminine changes to R by roticism in tosk femur. Topic consonants. Notes: The contrast between flapped R and trilled RR is the same as in Spanish or Armenian. In most of the dialects, as also in standard Albanian, the single R changes from an alveolar flap into a retroflex flap or even an alveolar approximant, when it is at the end of a word. The palatal nasal corresponds to the Spanish new and the French and Italian gn. It is pronounced as one sound, not a nasal plus a glide. The ll sound is a velarized lateral, close to English dark l. The letter c is sometimes written ch due to technical limitations because of its use in English sound and its analogy to the other digraphs xh, shish, and zh. Usually it is written simply C or more rarely Q with context resolving any ambiguities. The position of Q and GJ sound is not clear. Many speakers merge them into the palatoalveolar sounds C and XH. This is especially common in northern GHEG, but is increasingly the case in TOSC as well. Other speakers reduce them into J in consonant clusters, such as in the word fuel, which before standardization was written as coal, the Incan pronounced as in final position, otherwise as an allophone of n before k and g. Before q and g j, the n is always pronounced, but this is not reflected in the orthography. Theta are interdental. Topic vowels Topic schwa Although the Indo-European schwa, or h2, was preserved in Albanian, in some cases it was lost, possibly when a stressed syllable preceded it. Until the standardization of the modern Albanian alphabet, in which the schwa is spelled as e, as in the work of Gjon Bazuku in the 16th century, various vowels and gliding vowels were employed, including a by Lik Matrenga and a by Pater Bogdani in the late 16th and early 17th century. The schwa in Albanian has a great degree of variability from extreme back to extreme front articulation. Within the borders of Albania, the phoneme is pronounced about the same in both the Tosk and the Gheg dialect due to the influence of standard Albanian. However, in the Gheg dialects spoken in the neighboring Albanian-speaking areas of Kosovo and Macedonia, the phoneme is still pronounced as back and rounded. Topic grammar Albanian has a canonical word order of svo subject -verb -object like English and many other Indo-European languages. Albanian nouns are inflected by gender masculine, feminine and neuter and number singular and plural. There are five declensions with six cases nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, ablative, and vocative, although the vocative only occurs with a limited number of words, and the forms of the genitive and dative are identical a genitive is produced when the prepositions i, e, te, se are used with the dative. Some dialects also retain a locative case, which is not present in standard Albanian. The cases apply to both definite and indefinite nouns, and there are numerous cases of syncretism. The following shows the declension of mal mountain, a masculine noun which takes I in the definite singular, the following shows the declension of the masculine noun zog bird, a masculine noun which takes U in the definite singular, the following table shows the declension of the feminine noun vajza girl. the definite article is placed after the noun as in many other Balkan languages, like in Romanian, Macedonian and Bulgarian. The definite article can be in the form of noun suffixes, which vary with gender and case. For example, in singular nominative, masculine nouns add i, or those ending in g, k, h take u to avoid palatalization, mal mountain, mali the mountain, liber book, libri the book, zog bird, zogu the bird. Feminine nouns take the suffix i, j, a, vetor car, vetura the car, shtepi house, shtepia the house, Lul flower, Luya the flower. 
Neuter nouns take t. Albanian has developed an analytical verbal structure in place of the earlier synthetic system, inherited from Proto Indo European. Its complex system of moods six types and tenses three simple and five complex constructions is distinctive among Balkan languages. There are two general types of conjugations. Albanian verbs, like those of other Balkan languages, have an admirative mood that is used to indicate surprise on the part of the speaker or to imply that an event is known to the speaker by report and not by direct observation. In some contexts, this mood can be translated using English. Apparently. T flet skip. You speak Albanian. Indicative. T flisk skip. You surprisingly speak Albanian. Admirative. Ar ruga eshta ima bilor. The street is closed. Indicative. Ar ruga kenka ima bilor. Apparently, the street is closed. Admirative for more information on verb conjugation and on inflection of other parts of speech, see Albanian morphology. Topic. Word order Albanian word order is relatively free. To say, a gim ate all the oranges in Albanian, one may use any of the following orders, with slight pragmatic differences. Svo, a gimi i hangri te jid portokale. Sov, a gimi te jid portokale i hangri. Ovs, te jid portokale i hangri a gimi. OSV, te jid portokale a gimi i hangri. VSO, i hangri a gimi te jid portokale. However, the most common order is subject verb object, and negation is expressed by the particles nook or s in front of the verb, for example, Tony nook flet anglished. Tony does not speak English. Tony esiflet anglished. Tony doesn't speak English. Nook ed. I do not know. CD. I don't know. However, the verb can optionally occur in sentence initial position, especially with verbs in the non active form. Forma jo pror. Perishiko a nye interpridge. An interruption is anticipated. In imperative sentences, the particle mos is used for negation. Mos hero. Do not forget. Topic. Numerals Topic. Literary tradition Topic. Earliest undisputed texts The earliest known texts in Albanian A 208-page parchment written by Theodor of Shkodra discovered in the secret archives of Vatican. The work is a manuscript decorated with golden miniatures and colored initials, divided in three parts. Pages 1-97 deal with theology, 98-146 with philosophy, and pages 147-208 with a history of the known world from AD 153-1209. On the final page of the manuscript we find a note by the author with the assistance and great love of the Blessed Lord, I finished this in the year 1210 on the ninth day of March. The Formula E page zimit, baptismal formula, which dates back to 1462 and was authored by Pal Angeli or Paulus Angelis, c. 1417 to 1470, Archbishop of Duras. Angeli was a close friend and counselor of Skanderbeg. It was written in a pastoral letter for a synod at the Holy Trinity in Mat and read in Latin characters as follows: Unte pagesant premenit atit et burit et spurtit senet, Standard Albanian. Un te pagezaj ne emer te atit, te burit e te spurtit te shenjta. English. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It was discovered and published in 1915 by Nikolai Iorga. The Hollery I. Arnold von Harfit, Arnold Ritter von Harf's lexicon, a short list of Albanian phrases with German glosses, dated 1496. A song, recorded in the Greek alphabet, retrieved from an old codex that was written in Greek. The document is also called Perikopeja e Ungulate te Pashkeve or Perikopeja e Ungulate te Shen Matiat. The Song of the Easter Gospel, or The Song of St. Matthew's Gospel. Although the codex is dated to during the 14th century, the song, written in Albanian by an anonymous writer, seems to be a 16th century writing. The document was found by Arboreche people who had emigrated to Italy in the 15th century. 
The first book in Albanian is the Mashari, the Missal, written by Gjon Bazuku between the 20th of March 1554 and the 5th of January 1555. The book was written in the Gheg dialect in the Latin script with some Slavic letters adapted for Albanian vowels. The book was discovered in 1740 by Gjon Nikol Kazazi, the Albanian Archbishop of Skopje. It contains the liturgies of the main holidays. There are also texts of prayers and rituals and catechetical texts. The grammar and the vocabulary are more archaic than those in the Gheg texts from the 17th century. The 188 pages of the book comprise about 154,000 words with a total vocabulary of c. 1,500 different words. The text is archaic yet easily interpreted because it is mainly a translation of known texts, in particular portions of the Bible. The book also contains passages from the Psalms, the Book of Isaiah, the Book of Jeremiah, the Letters to the Corinthians, and many illustrations. The uniformity of spelling seems to indicate an earlier tradition of writing. The only known copy of the Mashari is held by the Apostolic Library. In 1968 the book was published with transliterations and comments by linguists. Topic. Disputed earlier text In 1967 two scholars claimed to have found a brief text in Albanian inserted into the Belafortis text, a book written in Latin dating to 1402–1405. A star has fallen in a place in the woods, distinguish the star, distinguish it, distinguish the star from the others, they are ours, they are. Do you see where the great voice has resounded? Stand beside it. That thunder. It did not fall. It did not fall for you, the one which would do it. Like the ears, you should not believe that the moon fell when try to encompass that which spurts far call the light when the moon falls and no longer exists. Dr. Robert Elsie, a specialist in Albanian studies, considers that the Tadarichu, Palena Romanian translation of the non-Latin lines, although it may offer some clues if the text is indeed Albanian, is fanciful and based, among other things, on a false reading of the manuscript, including the exclusion of a whole line. Ottoman period In 1635, Frank Bardi (1606–1643) published in Rome his Dictionarium Latinum Epiraticum, the first known Latin Albanian dictionary. Other scholars who studied the language during the 17th century include Andrea Bigdani (1600–1685), author of the first Latin Albanian grammar book, Nilo Catalanos (1637–1694), and others. Topic. Vocabulary Albanian is known within historical linguistics as a case of a language which, although surviving through many periods of foreign rule and multilingualism, saw a «disproportionately high» influx of loans augmenting and replacing much of its vocabulary. Other languages influenced Albanian and high-end estimates classify the majority of Albanian vocabulary as loanwords, suggesting that more than 90% of the present Albanian vocabulary is Latin, Greek, Slavic, Italian and Turkish loanwords, with the biggest influence being Latin. The chief sources of Proto-Albanian are Ancient Greek, Latin and Slavic, while Ancient Greek loanwords are scarce The Latin loanwords are of extreme importance in phonology. The presence of loanwords from more well-studied languages from time periods before Albanian was attested, reaching deep back into the classical era, has been of great use in phonological reconstructions for earlier ancient and medieval forms of Albanian. Some words in the core vocabulary of Albanian have no known etymology linking them to Proto-Indo-European or any known source language, and as of 2018 are thus tentatively attributed to an unknown, unattested, pre-Indo-European substrate language. Some words among these include zemer heart and hakor iron. Some among these putative pre-IE words are thought to be related to putative pre-IE substrate words in neighboring Indo-European languages, such as lul flower, which has been tentatively linked to Latin lilia and Greek larion lexical distance of Albanian in a lexicostatistical analysis of the Ukrainian linguist Tyshenko the lower figure, the higher similarity, 49% Slovenian, 53% Romanian, 56% Greek, 82% French, 86% Macedonian, 86% Bulgarian. 
Topic: Cognates with Illyrian. Andina, Andes, Andio, Antis — personal Illyrian names based on a root word and or ant, found in both the southern and the Dalmatian Pannonian including modern Bosnia and Herzegovina onomastic provinces, cf. Alb, Andi northern Albanian dialect, or gheg and Enda southern Albanian dialect or Tosk — appetite, pleasure, desire, wish. Andi proper name, Andazets, an Illyrian people inhabiting the Roman province of Pannonia Aaron Field. Cf. Alb. R. Plural era. Ardioioi, Ardae, name of an Illyrian people. Cf. Alb. Ardha. Arrival. Or. Descent. Connected to Hardy. Vine branch, grape vine. With a sense development similar to Germanic asterisk stamnas, meaning both stem, tree stock, and tribe, lineage. However, the insufficiency of this hypothesis is that so far there is no certainty as to the historical or etymological development of either Ardha, Hardy or Ardiooioi, as with many other words. Belia daughter, cf. Alb, Bij, Dial, Bial Bindo, Bindus, an Illyrian deity from Bihać, Bosnia and Herzegovina, cf. Alb, Bind, to convince, or, to make believe, Perbindesh, Monster, Bonin, Hut, Cottage, cf. Al Bun Brisa, Husk of Grapes, cf. Al Bursi, Lease, Dregs, Mash, Barba, Swamp, a toponym from Metubarbus, possibly related to Alb, Barake, Swampy Soil, Ken, Dog, related to Alb, Qen Dasitiates, a name of an Illyrian people, cf. Alb, Dash, Ram, corresponding contextually with South Slavonic Dasa, Ace, which might represent a borrowing and adaptation from Illyrian or some other ancient language, Mal, Mountain, cf. Alb Mal Bardi, White, cf. Alb Barda Draquina, Supper, cf. Alb, Dark, Drek Drenis, Deer, cf. Alb Dre, Dreni Delm, Sheep, cf. Alb Deli, Gheg dialect Delm Dard, Pear, cf. Alb Darda Hylus, the name of an Illyrian king, cf. Alb, Yll, Hyle in some northern dialects, Star, also Alb, Hyj, God, Ely proper name. Sika, Dagger, cf. Alb Thike or Thika knife ULC wolf PLN Ulcinium CF Alb UJK wolf ULK northern dialect Laugen pool CF Alb lag legan to wet soak bathe wash pool do mag great CF Alb imad big great mantia bramble bush old and dial Alb monde berry mulberry mod Alb men man rhinos fog mist CF Old Alb Ren Cloud Mod Alb Re Re Vendum Place CF Proto Alb Wen Ta Mod Alb Vend Topic Loanwords Topic Early Greek Loans There are some 30 ancient Greek loanwords in Albanian Many of these reflect a dialect which voiced its aspirants as did the Macedonian dialect Other loanwords are Doric these words mainly refer to commodity items and trade goods and probably came through trade with a now extinct intermediary Blet Hive B B versus Ionic Melissa, Draper, Sickle, Cumble, Plum, Laker, Cabbage, Green Vegetables. Green, Vegetable, Lephete, Orich, Doc, Leva, Lyej, to smear, Oil. Oil, Moker, Millstone, Device, Instrument, Mall, Apple, Fruit, Pia Pear, Melon, Presh, Leek, Spell, Cave, Trums, Time, Topic Gothic Loan Some Gothic loanwords were borrowed through Late Latin, while others came from the Ostrogothic expansion into parts of Prevalatana around Naxic and the Gulf of Kotor in Montenegro, Fat, Groom, Husband. Bridegroom, Whore, Scoundrel, Whore, Hussy, Whore. Adulterer, Asterisk Hora, Whore, Shkulk, Boundary Marker for Pastures Made of Branches. Guardian, shkum, foam, turk, trousers, knee breeches, cf. Ohg dio brua, eng thigh, breeches. Topic other loans. It is assumed that Greek and Balkan Latin, the ancestor of Romanian and other Balkan Romance languages, exerted a great influence on Albanian. Examples of words borrowed from Latin, katet after the Slavs arrived in the Balkans, the Slavic languages became an additional source of loanwords. The rise of the Ottoman Empire meant an influx of Turkish words, this also entailed the borrowing of Persian and Arabic words through Turkish. Some Turkish personal names, such as Alton, are common. There are some loanwords from modern Greek, especially in the south of Albania. Many borrowed words have been replaced by words with Albanian roots or modern Latinized international words. 
Topic see also Tosk Albanian Gheg Albanian Arboresh language Arvanitika Illyrian languages Mesopian language IPA, Albanian Thraco Illyrian topic Notes topic Bibliography topic References topic External links Albanian lessons free online through the Linguistics Research Center at UT Austin Albanian Translation Albanian Google Translate Albanian Dictionary Albanian Swadesh List of Basic Vocabulary Words from Wiktionary's Swadesh List Appendix Albanian Basic Lexicon at the Global Lexicostatistical Database Albanian Grammar, Victor A. Friedman Albanian Symbol Codes, Penn State Website Dr. John Bassett Trumper Discussing the Classification of Albanian within Indo-European on YouTube The Emblematic Figure of the Albanian Linguist, Pr. Ekrem Kabej by Prof. Remzi Pernaska on the cultural website Albania FR, Shish, N. Dictionaries Albanian Online Dictionary 40,000 Lemmas English, Albanian, Albanian, English Dictionary on Western Barbarisms and Albanian Responsible Words Entry on the National Library of Albania Heisenbagasi, Arian. Holler i Barbarismov Perindamor ne Juan Shkip Dhe Holov per Jeghezi Shkip. Ombra GVG, Tirana, 2011 Holler Shkip Online Topic. External links, Albanian article research Hathitrust Digital Library